Right then, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me enormous pleasure to welcome, you know him very, very well, the voice of Anfield, Mr. George Sefton. You've noticed, if you've been to one of these dudes before, they always put me on when the audience has had a few drinks. It might be coincidence, I hope not. Can we have a massive round of applause for this for Mr. Phil Downey, the guy who's responsible for the Joey Jones banner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the original banner, by the way. Please welcome Mr. Phil Neal. <laughs> So Phil, could you just tell us what your recollections are of the of the night? Uh, it was a long, it was a long, non-sleeping night. Um, uh, expressive uh, in in joviality because we'd won the European Cup for the very first time, and the boys will tell you we sat around the pool all off all all night, uh, and then we're. We're due to fly home uh, and come round this famous city uh, and show it all off. Jerry, can you tell us what your recollections were of that famous night? Um, well, the first one was obviously uh, when we walked out onto the pitch before the, the game. I'm sure how many Liverpool fans were there. You know, they must have outnumbered the Germans by at least three, maybe four to one. And um, I thought then, myself, and I'm sure all the lads thought the same, you know, that we can't lose tonight. You know, not for the sacrifices all the fans have made to get over there. You know, because when you hear the stories, some of the stories of what the fans did to raise money to get there, you know, the least you can do is go out and, and you know, give it your best. And I think each and every one did that night. Oh, he's a Kirby lad. He's a local. He's one of us. He's one of us. Mr. Terry McDermott. What recollections have you got of the night being there on the pitch? Can you just describe it for us? Well, I can, I can certainly remember the build-up to it. And I remember the match, actual match day, um, what happened before, and it was unbelievable. And it's, a, it's a thing you take to your dying bed. Um, it was just an unbelievable occasion to, to be there, not just to be there, but to play in that arena against a very, very good Munch and Gladbach team. They would like to buy in Munich of, 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 of Germany now. Right. Can you give us your reflections of the night? Um, well, it was a, obviously a very special night. It was the end of a very special three months, basically, in terms of we, you know, for three months we had to win a game every three days. It was as simple as that, whether it was a league game, whether it was a, an FA Cup game, whether it was a European Cup. The draw was no good, we had to win them. So it was an unbelievable three months. And, of course, it culminated with us winning the league one week losing the FA Cup the following week and then this magic game four days later when you know we were outstanding in the first half, controlled the game. They had a 15-minute spell in the second half where they equalised and caused us a couple of little problems. And then uh, Tommy Smith got the goal from the corner and obviously Phil 
got the penalty and it was uh, you know, just a, a great ending to a great season and to a great set of supporters when you think 26,000 fans turned up that night and they'd already supported us through the league they've been to the FA Cup final on a Saturday and yet they still made it to Rome it's a special effort from them a great effort from the team and everybody is rewarded for it look at that thank you, you very much there you go there you go nice to see you I'm fine come on then it's heavy for me I'm getting on a bit <laughs> <laughs> and we're not oh, you, you're allowed to fit in me and uh, that was brilliant because the year before we'd just won the, the UEFA Cup and uh, to drive the team for the drive and passion to, to win that European Cup for the first time was a real changing moment for all our lives really <coughs> and it was enough to really to to be a good good munch and bad back team there were no mugs they had a few world cup winners in that team and the current european football of the year at the time alan simonson from denmark he was in that team so um to want to beat them like he did you know and i think we deserve to beat them although early doors clem had to make a good save if i remember to uh, Stop them going ahead, um, and then Terry scored, Tommy scored, great header, and Phil scored the penalty. I mean, it's what dreams are made of. It was a privilege to see the old footballers there from 1977 made up. I always remember when we first walked onto the onto the pitch with about an hour and a half before the game, when uh, there must have been about 25,000 people, 30,000 people from Liverpool. And um, when we cleaned them, we just could not get beat. You know, we didn't. We didn't need a team talk. There was no team talk of Bob Paisley. Just go and win it for them people who were out there, which we did do. What do you remember about the two crucial saves that you made? You know. Well, the the real save I remember was Steelica save really, because the score was one all at the time, and they were in the ascendancy. And basically, it was him against me. He broke through, and I just did what I've done all my career at this club. Came out, made myself as big as possible, hoping he'd hit me with the ball. And thankfully, he hit me on the knee, and it bounced clear. So from that point of view, you know, 10 minutes later, Tommy Smith headed it into the net. We've gone 2-1 up, and we finished up winning it 3-1. So. It was a vital save. I didn't realise how vital it was at the time, but when you look back at it afterwards, then it certainly helped us win it. Happy birthday. Thanks What's for it. Your story then? Uh, I went to Rome in 1977, I was 17. Uh, forgot all about it, it was my birthday. Bit too drunk when I got there, bit too drunk on the way home. Didn't spend a lot of money, but this was the beer we were drinking in Italy. Right? And that was me, Matt Sick. Uh, sorry, me train sick. Here. Roman back. When he got shown at, at, at Lime Street, after that, no one wants to know it. But I've kept these things for over 40 years. That's me, Matt Sicker from Rome 77. Nice. I was signed by five or six players Joey Jones, Jimmy Case. Terry Mack, Ray Clements, Phil Neal. So I've actually got two scorers from the 1977 game. Obviously you couldn't get Tommy Smith because he's not too good these days. But I am absolutely over the moon with this ticket. I, I couldn't sell it, I couldn't put it on eBay. My also wants me to keep it. So when I go, she can bloody sell it then. <laughs> I'll make a fortune. Thanks very much. For all this, to all the Reds. It went to the ut utmost. You must go to the European Cup if you can play in that every year. And bearing in mind, we couldn't finish fourth. We had to finish first or win it. And we'd won it for the very first time and it went on and on and on. And, uh, and the boys were brilliant at, at consistency over the 10 years I was there. You know, as a kid growing up, you know, it was a dream of playing in a cup final. I wouldn't say the European Cup final because I'd be lying, but in a cup final for your favourite team and just growing up as a kid, you know, that's what I used to think about was, was playing for Liverpool and playing in cup finals, but you never imagine it's going to come true, but it certainly did 40 years ago. What well, are your recollections of that season? I mean, you know, the team spirit was especially strong. You know, do you think that helped in the final as well? Did, well, you know, the, the jokers and the, yeah. the atmosphere in the dressing room like before? It, it, it was no different. I didn't feel it was any different, you know, because we had a great camaraderie in that dressing room. It was brilliant. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
it was you know it was just a pleasure to be there and then being with these people for all season long we were, we were drew a break to, from each other anyway but we had one last hurrah to win the European Cup for Liverpool and for them fans and we did and we were absolutely magnificent and then three four five hours later I don't from then I didn't remember till the Saturday I think it was when I woke up <laughs> so um, yeah great occasion never to be forgotten and um, it's just one of them games where you love playing in a European final and we did and we played it so well to win it but we mustn't have forget Ray, Ray Clemens who, who was over here before he um, he made two fantastic saves to keep it in the game. If he wouldn't have done that, it might have been a different outcome. But he made two, two but that's what he get paid for. He made two great saves, and then we, but we deserved it. You know, we played superb on the night. Kevin Keegan was excellent on the night. Right. That's right. For one minute. This right. Right. One minute, please. Thank you. This right. That's brilliant. That. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you get told off by Bill? No, Terry. Terry spotted it. Scouser. Scouser spotted it. Fourth time in the Liverpool in May. My first love when I was five. I got uh, this on my fifth birthday. And then Rock music and Liverpool. Keep it. From uh, my planet, Liverpool. Oh my god, this is the European Cup. We've won it five times in Istanbul. We won it five times. I'm Katie's brother, and um, I thank you to Nikki Tanner who's hosting this event. Hi, my name's Anthony. Um, I'm made up to be here tonight to be able to meet such great legends of the football club. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting him, uh, get, get me memorabilia signed. Uh, I think it's a fantastic event that Nicky's put on tonight, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to a really enjoyable night. We're here tonight because it's um, it's 40 years ago to the day since uh, 1977 European Cup final. My dad and all his mates here on the minibus all the way to Rome and back. And it's the big reunion, so all the lads are out on a big night out and we're having a great time. And finally, what kind of reflections of the team spirit of that season do you remember, you know, in terms of that drove you to the, the trophies that season? That season? Yeah. Um, well, it was just a great team spirit. You know, you know, we see each other now, and uh, certainly in Joey's case, Joey Jones, I probably haven't seen for many years. Um, but it's like we've never been apart. You know, we had that spirit that um, as soon as you get back together, everybody, all the old stories come back, all the old jokes come back. And um, no, it's just, it was just a special, special dressing room. What do you think about the team spirit that season? Is that the thing that helped drive it, do you think? Yeah, I think there was humour, there was, there was arguments, there was everything. Everybody joined in, um, but we got it right, the balance of the team right, uh, and the directness, if it needed, you know, kind of going out and ha getting winners, we got winners, you know. So, and the boys uh, were absolutely brilliant on that night in Rome. We'll never forget that first time you win the European Cup. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's important that, you know, within, within team spirit, it's, you cover each other's backs, you know, on and off the field. And I think it's important that you have plenty of laughter as well. And um, Liverpool's renowned for its sense of humour anyway, you know, for the supporters um, and people alike anyway, you know. Um, and there was enough jokers in, within the club that would, could relax you just at the right time, either with a quip or whatever, you know. Um, and of course, you, had, you know, you had Bob Paisley, Joe, Come Joe on Fagan, then. Ronnie Moran, Roy Evans, you know, and they could they kept your feet on the floor, Thanks, you know, and, and they they were humorous men as well, and they liked to laugh. And I think it's really important within a football team that you have that spirit. And what are your memories of, you know, Bob's Paisley's team talks and? What inspiration did you draw from them? I think, to be fair, Bob, um, he wasn't the greatest at team talks, 
but what he did know is he, he had a great team around him and therefore he only had to give us a few pointers and the great players we had would perform and win the game. Yeah, obviously we're, we're greedy at Liverpool, we want to win everything, you know, and not to win the FA Cup against our old enemy. Um, that was a bit of a sickness because we deserved to win that game, but it wasn't to be. They had they scored a lucky goal at the backside of um, Tommy Smith, was it? And um, But that's, that happens in football, but I tell you what, wouldn't swap anything. You know, it was either you're winning the league, winning the European Cup, or winning the FA Cup, which one you can't win? Well, the FA Cup. The other two is what you need to win every year, the championship, and then winning the European Cup for the first time. So, you know, it was a great occasion, never to be forgotten. Phil Neal, Tony McDermott, the voice of Sanfield, Mr. George Sefton, all the guys at Double 86 memorabilia. Got our, our film man Pepper as well, thank you very much, mate. We've got a fantastic night and we'll see you at the next one. Cheers.